Hello and welcome to A Cup of Conversation. My name is John Ghazi and this week in the studio I'm very lucky to have a very distinguished guest. He is Associate Professor Dr. Serkan Ilseven and he was a teacher at Anafatla Lisey in Guinea, a geography teacher. He's an artist, he's now lecturing at New York University and he has books, he has articles around the world, a, a very important person and we're talking about geography and more specifically Orchids. A recent PDF file came to my attention, a recent book called North Cyprus Orchids, written by Dr. Sekhan Ilseven. It's very, very important. Right now, if you would like to go walking in the mountains and the countryside of the TRNC, this is the book to have by your side. So first of all, welcome Sekhan to the programme. Thank you very much. Now, it was funny because when I mentioned your name to my wife, uh, mm -hmm. she said, my hoja, my teacher, she remembered you from Anna Fartlar, you were her geography yeah. teacher. Yes. And in fact, your wife is a teacher as well. She's also... Yes, she's a teacher of geography as well. Yeah, at the school. Yes, yeah, at the school. Then you went on to different things. You worked in Parliament. What was your position in Parliament? I was a di director. Ten years' time, I was a director in Parliament. This is my uh, uh, very, very uh, difficult years. <laughs> You what know, were you doing there? What was your position? Uh, what were you I, doing I, at the parliament? I, I was a, a financial, ad administrative uh, and parliamentary ser service. I, I'm a head of the financial, administrative and financial service. Right. As I said, you are... This is a very, very different subject. Very different subject. Yeah. yeah. But the, our, our subject today is talking about... Well, I mean, we could talk about art. But you're an artist. Yes. But we're talking about geography. Yes. Your passion. Uh, and especially about the wildlife of North Cyprus. Yes. Now, your book, North Cyprus Orchids, isn't the first book you've written. You've written many oh, books. Oh, this is uh, seventh, seventh book. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and I know that my father-in-law, Hudaved Unjan, was sort of an inspiration to you to write books because he wanted to... Uh, yeah, to uh, control. Yeah. To uh, reduction uh, some places of the his book yeah and he gave me the spark yes. because uh, when i controlled it uh, i like i said i know something i have some uh, information in inside and i have to publish them i have to write them yeah and after he was a, a controller uh, after uh, his uh, lecture check lecturer time yeah he was the controller of the geography uh, teachers, yeah. teachers of geography. Yes, and he he gave me a chance to write a book about geography, and we started to write geography book. But when I when we start five or six person lecturer, when we started to write the uh, geography of uh, book of geography, I understand we have to write the uh, information we know because all the books is very old, English, French, other language, but uh, especially very, very old books coming from before 1960, before 1950, and the geography change, yes. environmental change, and our uh, students change, and we have to do uh, something new. And uh, I started to save my information and publish them. Uh, in 90, sorry, 2008, I started uh, in Near East University. Yeah. Uh, my lecture time is coming from then, uh, that time. And uh, I have a principle uh, about that. If I give some lessons, uh, after a few years, I am published the book as well, because my students waiting book. Yeah. They publish copy <laughs> fr from some books. This is not enough. And after a few years, five, six years' time, I publish, I prepare them a good book for uh, their education uh, period. I know that you were born in Paphos, on the south of the island, then you moved to the north, and you know a lot about the island. Were you always interested in geography as a child? I mean, how did you become a geography teacher? Or how did you study geography? Why geography? Why geography? You know, uh, my father is a hunter. <laughs> every every father's is a hunter uh, in that age is, is like that, and I was traveling all the mountains. Uh, but 
when I start to be uh, 16, 17, I start to, to interest about uh, wildlife. Yeah. Uh, why rabbits eating azerol? Why rabbits eating uh, myrtle? Something like that. Why uh, living in inside the valleys? Why some trees inside the valleys and not go outside? Yeah. Uh, and I started to research what can I read and uh, get this information more. And I uh, that time I find I found uh, maybe geography. And I wrote, you know. Every 17 years old uh, pupils has a had a big exam in university exam. Yeah. I wrote my choices. The first one is uh, geography, and I I got it. And you got it. Yeah. So you studied in Turkey. You studied geography in, in, in Izmir. Turkey. Yeah, in Izmir. In Izmir. Then you came back and you became a, a geography teacher. Yes. As I said, at the Anafarta Lisey. Yes. Uh, no, I started where Aktoan uh, Lapta. Then uh, after a few years, I started. In Anafartlar. In Anafartlar. Yeah. So, how did you decide to start writing? I, I know you, well, you said that you got the spark from my father-in-law, but did you? How did you choose the first subject? What was your first book about? My first book is uh, we were uh, five peoples. We started to uh, publish, prepare uh, geography of uh, Cyprus for the uh, college people college period. Then when we started to uh, prepare this, I, I did, we didn't find uh, enough research about Cyprus. And if we catch some, it was a uh, very old. You know, the uh, precipitation is different. Warm is different at the time because we are going in a global warming. And the, the things, for example, agriculture is changed. Yeah. Uh, for example, in 1974, we had 240 uh, tons uh, orange. Now, less than 100,000 tons. For example, everything changed. We, and we understand we have to do something. We have to uh, publish more books about, about uh, geology, about uh, climatology, about geomorphology, about humanity. I have a book about uh, Cyprus humanity and politician geography mm -hmm. uh, as well, because I'm giving this lesson. I'm a lecturer in uh, university, and I'm giving this lesson. So I uh, prepare for my students, but everybody can read them. Imagine uh, our my book, the maybe second or third book, is White uh, white uh, and Planted Trees of Cyprus. This is not for only the students studying geography or in college people. This is forestry, biologists, uh, the people uh, design a garden. They can read them, they can uh, take something from them. Yeah. Very, very interesting because I know that your book, which is in both Turkish and English, yes. the one we're talking about now is North Cyprus Orchids. It's a very interesting book yeah. with lots of great colour photographs yes. showing the orchids. And so uh, I think you're describing it where you can hold it in your left hand, yes. uh, the book and the picture, yeah. and look at the, the orchid that you see yeah. in, in That's nature. That's why I'm telling it's a handbook. It's a handbook. When you open the page, you can put near the uh, flower yeah. and you can find which is which. And you give the name, the Latin name. Latin name, you give the English name and Turkish name as well. Yeah. And uh, sometimes <coughs> they have two Latin names because uh, different uh, scientists giving different names. And I put two both as well uh, for the foreign people because foreign people coming uh, just specialist for the flowers. Yeah. And if you if you give them a good book, they can find, like, and uh, tell. Uh, they do our advertise and somebody is coming again. Which is very important, it's good tourism. Uh, of course, this is the, most of English people doing this job. Yes. Yeah, they're uh, taking 10, 15 people and traveling our uh, mountains and showing them. Yes, yeah. very and important. And you know, sorry, uh, yeah. you know, uh, environment is a like chain. If you show your uh, students or your children uh, some species, if they know their name, they start to uh, like them. Yeah. If they like them, after a few seconds, they start to protect them. And environment uh, protect itself uh, like that. 
we have to we have to first of all we have to show and we have to tell the names just if you say just birds this is nothing it means nothing yeah it yeah. means nothing you have to tell the uh, original name or shrubs or trees every trees every shrub has different name and if we show our uh, students our uh, children for these names they start to like them if they like them they protect them very important and we must start with the youngsters with the children with nature it was funny that you were saying that your father took you hunting but you are not a hunter yourself yeah. because you, you learned that really we should protect nature we shouldn't be hunting uh, no, like can, we used to i can understand uh, 30 years ago 25 years ago 40 yeah. years ago i, I can but understand why they are hunting because uh, meat is very expensive and we have, we have a we had a poor life mm. this is normal but now uh, you don't need to hunt. no you can you can go to hunt with your camera why you are going to be, uh, uh, with your gun gun, with is the camera. E gun is easy yeah. it's a difficult uh, and good uh, move for the camera catch i can see if you catch in your camera yeah, yeah. of course shoot with a camera not with a gun yeah best way yeah. we are entering the season now for the orchids yes and there are many many orchids out there yeah over 30 species i believe uh, yeah 32 species we have 32 species in north one is endemic yeah uh, orchid orchids kochi mm -hmm. this is only from uh, our side uh, and we have another 31 uh, species it's they started in september end of september october nowhere but best time is february march april this yes is, spring this, yeah uh, this is uh, we maybe we are lucky because they are very very small and it is not easy to catch them to find them yeah. uh, you have to use one uh, uh, specialist to show you yes uh, Otherwise, uh, I imagine if they are uh, like in uh, tropical orchids, it's huge. I'm sure uh, every can go, every can move them. Yeah. Because uh, uh, bad things, they are bulbs using for salep. Uh, salep is a popular drink here. It's, but it's popular in Turkey. Mm. And, you know, most of uh, uh, people coming from Turkey and this culture uh, jump for us. Yeah. Uh, but this is not right because this is a natural uh, resources uh, yeah. for, of us, for, for us. And it's not good to you, uh, move two balls. They have both balls underneath and they are uh, moving them and they're using for hot drinks. We have tea, we have coffee, why we drink? We don't need to drink Yeah, that. we don't need. It's like there are many uh, important flowers here. We have tulips in yeah. the spring, yeah. which we shouldn't pick. Yeah. We have uh, the orchids, which we shouldn't pick. You were saying though, that if you pick the flower, but the bulb stays, then maybe the flower yes. can regrow again. Yeah. But if you move the bulb, then you kill the yeah. of course the orchid. And uh, we protect them. We affect uh, orchids. How? For example, we have a different species, Orchis papillona sea, mm -hmm. a butterfly or orchids. And last three years, some I didn't see it because it's growing around uh, Gechitköy. Uh, lake yes and uh, you know f last five years time get it good lake uh, grow yeah uh, it's bigger now and many many lorries thousand lorries around uh, world so I hope maybe it's under the soil and uh, they will grow shoot again. again yeah shoot again I hope so too yeah yeah but it's a it's a, an important thing to remember that we should protect the flowers take photographs but don't pick them of course now, in your uh, book, North Cyprus Orchids, you have a, an answer, a preamble that you call it, and you would like to thank the late Dr. Derek Viney, who contributed to the translation of this book. As we said, the book is in both Turkish and in English, and uh, he instilled into you the love of botany and always shared experience with you and sowed the seeds of the book. 
and uh, a big also uh, a big thank you also to Sandy Green for proofreading and to other people who were involved in the book. But you were inspired by Dr. Derek Viney, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, a great man, a great botanist. Yes. Uh, I, uh, first, he phoned me. He went to. Uh, forestry office, yeah. and he asked someone interested about bush and uh, uh, shrubs and trees. Uh, he wants to meet me, and they gave my number for him. And he ring me, and we meet sometimes, and we started to talk about for the nature. <coughs> and I saw he is uh, like an ocean about botany, and he uh, we started to help each other he was start, uh, helping me about shrubs and trees and i was helping him about fungus because cypress knows where the uh, mushrooms is growing uh, uh, better or where many species is together and i was uh, traveling with, uh, with him together uh, at the end of the at the end of the uh, research he wanted to publish the fungus book, Cyprus fungus book, mm -hmm. Cyprus mushroom book. And he came uh, in uh, Jasmine Court Hotel and he did a reception for uh, the friends. Yeah. And I went there to see the books because I helped him many times and I was uh, wondering how it's uh, published, how yeah. it's pre pre prepared. Uh -huh. When I went there, I saw uh, Derek Wine is Alzheimer, uh, the sick. And he forgot many things. And he gave me one book present, and it, uh, in, in the first page, it was writing for three men. It was, <laughs> it was uh, so exciting for me because. You are the tree man. Yeah, for, for, uh, on his mind, yeah. I was a tree man. And it is a big ho honor to, to me. Yeah. yeah. A it, great man, a yeah, great man. He's a great man, and he did. Uh, Two book, volume one, uh, volume two is a uh, illustrated uh, flora of Cyprus one and illustrated flora of Cyprus two and a uh, mushroom book about Cyprus. That's amazing. It's, it's Do you yeah. think that we are learning more now as the years go by that we are more conscious of the uh, of the environment. I mean, are you happy with? Do you teach your? You have two daughters, yes. Yes. Uh, do you te did you teach them about the environment? Yes, of uh, course. Do you think the children now are learning more? Their about life is the environment. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, forty years ago when I was in uh, university, uh, we were studying about environmental, uh, but. Uh, Maybe that times not understand good. Yeah. We are we weren't understand good. But now people is more uh, more than us. Uh, they know the nature. They know the species. They yeah. try to protect them. I hope uh, in times getting better. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. And as you are lecturing at Nimish University, I'm sure you are uh, teaching the the students there about the environment. Of They're course. there to learn about the environment, geography. The birds, the flowers, everything about. Yeah, but uh, we have a problem about uh, uh, quarries, for example. Quarries, yeah. Uh, yeah, many, many. Uh, it's more, Big issue. More, more than 30, so nearly 40 quarries. We don't need like that. We don't need this much. Yeah. Uh, maybe two, maybe three is enough. And we have to start to, to use uh, metal or uh, different material for the mm. buildings. Why we are doing 10-story uh, concrete? Ooh, that's a big problem. In, in for the Girne. This is, yeah. a, this is a, another big problem for environment because uh, when, you, when you pass the mountain, you can see only building. Imagine 30 years ago, it was green pines. Yeah. It was like- It's a, a big problem, yeah. development. Yeah, of course. It's developing. But, but this book, the North Cyprus Orchids. The, is this your most recent book? The most uh, newest book that you've published so far. This is the yeah yeah. La was it last year you published this? Only six seven months ago. Six seven yeah. months ago. Yeah. As you said, it's a notebook, that uh, handbook. Handbook. A handbook for uh, everyone to to yeah, use because, as a reference. Because if you if you go outside for the mountains, you don't need a big books, heavy books. You can't carry it. You can carry. It. Yeah. Uh, I remember when I was. Uh, working in assembly for assembly we went to uganda and i, I it, uganda is in, in inside the ecuador line yeah and this is best for the trees hot and rainy 
both together. Mm -hmm. And I took uh, uh, with me four or five books, trees books, because I, I, I thought I thought maybe I go there and I didn't uh, know the names of the trees. Mm -hmm. But it's not like that because all the trees moved for us. You know where, when, uh, in, when we were in English colony, English colony when came here, they started to forestry office first. Yeah. They planted trees, many seeds, they brought many seeds for the, the Cyprus. And when you uh, look the nature, we have many, many different species. Uh, you have no chance to see other species in the, in the world, very, very few. Yeah. So we have a rich uh, environmental here. We have to protect them. We have to do uh, for this uh, only. For example, eucalyptus trees. Yeah. It came from beginning of the century. For what? For the lake. To, because eucalyptus trees take more water, yeah. 15 tons a day. And also for the woods. Because uh, when English colony uh, started in Cyprus, none trees on the mountains. They, everybody they are going cutting for the uh, firewoods. Yeah. For, for that. And they stopped. They forbid, they said they're forbidden to cut the trees. We are putting some uh, eucalyptus, uh, small forests inside the mesaria. You can use them. And eucalyptus came from uh, good things for yeah. the other uh, island. Interesting, very interesting story there. So this is your latest book, but I know that you were, you are working on your next book even. We have another one coming out. Yeah, yeah. What will that be about? Uh, this is a discipline for, uh, for the vegetation geography and uh, this is for Derek Viney. I, I wrote the page for Derek Viney. Oh, uh, because lovely. he gave me this uh, spark, he gave me this love about uh, botanists. This is a uh, lecture book for the students, the third, third of the university geography, studying geography uh, students. Uh, book, but I told uh, this is not just for the uh, geography students. This is for forestry peoples. Uh, I have a, for example, uh, article about <coughs> forest, uh, eucalyptus trees. Yeah. I have uh, articles about macus, shrubs, and uh, uh, Calabrian pines. Mm -hmm. All the peoples can read them. Uh, designers, garden designers, uh, biologists ecologists, uh, forestry uh, students, everybody can. Everyone. Yeah, everyone can. Your work is, you know, universal, really, for yeah. all different uh, areas, geography, biology, ecology, yeah. and you have written for uh, international publications, haven't you? You have articles in magazines, in yes. journals, yeah? Yes. Uh, over 10, uh, I have international uh, articles. Everybody Fantastic. can bring. Uh, approximately 50 people from different countries reading my articles because everybody interest everybody when they see of uh, about environmental they they want to and cyprus is unique as well it's a very unusual island cyprus uh, being an island certain trees certain uh, orchids certain flowers yeah. grow here endemic so we, yeah. i'm sure people believe are me most of people from abroad know better than us. Yeah, yeah, I think they do. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's good to have this book here, yeah. your book, so we can learn as yeah, well, yeah. us locals. Now, uh, Serkan also wrote that the foreign visitors start to come here in March and they want to, co they want to enjoy the beauties of the wildflowers and particularly the orchids. And uh, since the majority of orchids have a short lifespan, uh, he also mentioned in the book the fluorescent states and the locations so that in the book you can get the chance to deliver the information on the locations of these little wildflowers that many people may not be aware of until now. So this book yeah. will tell you where to find the orchids, yes. when they will bloom, they will flower. Yes. And so it's a great book to have if you want to come to Cyprus, if you're living abroad and you want to come here to see the orchids, this book is the book to get to accompany yeah. you. A you great can go, you can find them, you can see them, you can take the photos, but not touch. Don't touch them. Yeah. Finally, very, very quickly, uh, if I had to go to one area of North Cyprus to go and see orchids, where would you take me? Where is the best place to the see best, orchids? The best place is Karsheka, 
Yes. Back of Karşıyaka until Kozanköy. Yes. E, Karşıyaka, Lapta area, the lowest places. Yes. Yeah. The best places to see. But they, there's very uh, walking areas. You can walk them. Yeah. And I think next week there is a big uh, truck uh, yes. traveling. And I think also um, for cancer. Yes, Cav. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, I think yeah. is it the tenth of March? It's in March. I think it's Maybe. um. Is it the in, in March? Yeah. There's going to be a, an orchid walk from Kozanko to Karshiaka, and um, money raised from the walk will go to the Cancer Research Foundation. So maybe uh, you can go on the walk, and you can see the orchids. Is there somebody on the walk? Maybe. Describing the orchids, would, would do you go? No, not me, but, but some, someone help them. Yeah. Someone help them. Do you do your own uh, walks? They, uh, <laughs> I, I'm giving my students, and they're selling there. Right. That that day. Okay then. Yeah, yeah, because they, you know you need something to yeah. see. If you, I told you, if you, uh, if you know, if you know the name, if you know them, you start to love them. So you need something <laughs> because if you go like that and walk, just walk. This is nothing. Yes. We know the tulips, we recognize the tulips, so we love them. We should recognize the orchids and we yeah. love the orchids. Yeah. They are beautiful. It's, They're amazing. It's only 32. If you, uh, maybe in a one day, you can learn 10. Then you start to uh, find the 11, 12, yeah. 13. Every day you learn something yeah. new. Yeah. You, you know, more. the birds, the birds, uh, uh, they are going to take the photos of the birds. Yeah. You know they're, what they are doing. They're, you don't believe. You, they're taking a um, meat, meat, goat, sheep, yeah. and bringing in his car to the field, put in the field, and start to, to wait the eagles. Yeah. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Some people like to take photographs of the birds. Some and people like taking photographs of the orchids. Yes. You have done this for us, uh, said Khan Year 7, and it's a very interesting book. The book is now actually available. We have a, a, a famous uh, news agent at the top of the Guinea High Street, and that's where your book is now, yes. isn't it? Yeah. At the top of Guinea High Street, yeah. Yeah. we can get the book, but also some other areas. I mean, in Monex Exchange Office, he's yeah. my friend. He, he told me, give me to sell some uh, because he, they have English friends, they have yeah. English customers. Because uh, you know, I had a book, Wild Trees, uh, Wild and Planted Trees of yeah. Cyprus. Uh, I published 1,000, nearly finished, it's 10 years' time. Uh, believe me, maybe it's around 50 only Turkish Cypriot bought them. Mm -hmm. All the others, Greek and uh, English people, buying and reading. We are not very interested about... We should be, though. We should be, but... As a culture, yes. it's our island. Yes. We should be more interested in our wonderful uh, nature. And so the Orchids, the North Cyprus Orchids book, is a great handbook to have when you're travelling around the island. It's in Turkish and in English. And uh, Serkan, uh, Dr. Serkan Ilseven, who is a lecturer at New University, uh, is the man behind the book. You've got more books coming out. I know that we can find out about your work by a certain research website. What do we what do we write? If you if you uh, write in a research gate, research Serkan, gate. Is, yes, Serkan mm -hmm. Il Seven. You can see all my articles, all my books there, in PDF. You can take them out. It's easy. Fantastic, Doctor Serkan Il Seven. Thank you very much for coming today. I look forward to uh, reading this book in more detail and to your future books. And good luck with your lecturing. You are at the Nimitz University Department of uh, Geography. Geography. Uh, Environment. Environment. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm sure your students love you. You're a great mm, person. Thank you. Very interesting man. Thank and uh, thank you for all that you are doing for environment and for geography here in North Cyprus. Thank you very much. You gave me this opportunity, and uh, I had this chance to talk to our students, uh, our children, and our the peoples like our environment. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. And with that, we have ended our very fascinating chat with Dr. Uh, Serkan Ilseven. More on a couple of conversation next week, same time, same place. Until then, take care. Bye bye.